Hello guys. Welcome to your YouTube channel NB Infotech. In this video, we will talk about antivirus introduction, test on malware, and pros and cons. In the first section, we will discuss the features and settings of the antivirus. In the second section, we will perform an antivirus test on different malware samples. First test, after disabling real-time protection, second test, after enabling real-time protection, and third test is, behavioral analysis test. And in the last section, we will talk about the pros and cons of the antivirus, on the basis of test performed and features provided. So, do not skip the video, and watch till the end. Subscribe our channel NB Infotech. In this video, we are talking about SMAD antivirus. SMAD antivirus software is made in Indonesia, founded in 2006 by Zainuddin Nafarin. The main purpose of SMAD antivirus is USB protection. This antivirus works as secondary antivirus in passive mode, along with your main antivirus software. This is an extra layer of protection to the system. On the main screen of SMAD antivirus, you can see features of free versus paid antivirus. It offers to choose between only two languages, Indonesian, and English. There is a total of five options available. First is a scanner, second is protect, third is tools, fourth is settings, and fifth is pro. Out of which we can access only the scanner, and settings option with the free version. The scanner option offers you a quick scan, and a full scan. SMAD Antivirus has another option for a higher detection rate which is called as, SMAD AI. The rest tabs come under the scanner R. Reports tab, shows you after scan report. Virus tab, shows you detected viruses. Registry tab, shows you unwanted items found in registry. Hidden tab, shows you hidden objects found during the scan. If you click on protect, and tools options, it will show you a notification to upgrade before to use this feature. Through settings, you can customize your antivirus here also some settings for the paid version and some settings for the free version. Here you can upload a virus infected file for further analysis to SMAD Antivirus Lab with the help of the Upload Virus button. Options under the Scanner Settings tab are not available with the free version. Only you can check for quarantined items. Let us update our antivirus, before starting the scan. Automatic update not supported with the free version.
As we know Samdav is a secondary antivirus, so Windows Defender antivirus is in the active state, we have to disable it first before to start with the test. Now let's copy malware samples to the desktop. In our collection, we have a total of 298 malware samples attached to different file types, and different platforms such as Android, Linux, and Windows. We have Android application, APK files, Linux, ELF files, REST files from Windows application, EXE files, document, DOC files, Excel, XLS files, zip archives, DLL files, etc. Let's start with our scan. We will perform first scan as a regular scan, and then second scan after enabling SMAD, AI feature for a higher detection rate. We had performed a regular scan three times but no threats were detected. Now let's check for second scan with enabled SMAD AI feature. After the second scan, 132 virus files are detected, out of scanned 440 objects.
let's check in the malware sample folder, that how many files are left behind. Out of a total 298 malware samples, 166 files are left behind in the folder. Let's upload some random files to virustotal.com to check whether these remaining files are malicious or not. Let's check the pros, and cons of the SMAD antivirus. Here is the final result for SMAD AV. If you like this video, then give a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel NB Infotech, and press the bell icon to receive the notification, whenever we upload a new video. In the comment, suggest to us more antivirus tests that you want. Till the time take care. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.